The most common skin concern in Indian skin is hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone. Both men and women who suffer from hyperpigmentation, it can really affect their confidence. But don't worry, we've got some great news for you. Applying sunscreen on a daily basis can help reduce these issues. It can help prevent the worsening of hyperpigmentation and also brighten your skin. So let's dive deep into and understand how your sunscreen can be a secret weapon for your battle against hyperpigmentation. What is hyperpigmentation? When your natural skin color darkens, it's called hyperpigmentation. It is common in Indian skin because we have excess melanin in our skin and that gets triggered by injury and inflammation. The most common cause of hyperpigmentation is sun exposure. There are different types of hyperpigmentation. Melasma is the most common type of hyperpigmentation and the other types are post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, tanning and uneven skin tone. So what is melasma? Melasma is a pigmentation which typically affects the cheeks and can gradually spread to your nose and other parts of your face. And it's commonly seen in women as compared to men and the most common cause is sun exposure and hormonal conditions. How does sun exposure cause hyperpigmentation? Sun is the main cause of hyperpigmentation. Melanin, which is your natural pigment cell, acts as a natural sun protector and prevents you from harmful UV rays. But when you're exposed to excessive sun exposure, this natural process gets disrupted and causes hyperpigmentation. So now that we've understood the basics, I, Dr. Preeti Shenai, board certified dermatologist practicing at SkinWorks Clinic, Juhu, Mumbai, will discuss in depth about sunscreens, how do they help in hyperpigmentation and how to choose your sunscreen. What are sunscreens? Sunscreens are photoprotective product which absorbs the filters and scatters ultraviolet A and B rays. They are available in the form of creams, lotions, sprays and also now in the form of tablets. What is their role? It helps in preventing premature aging and also reducing your uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation. So let's understand some basic components of sunscreen. Sun protection factor or SPF. It measures how your sunscreen will prevent you from ultraviolet damage. For example, if you are exposed and you get burnt after 10 minutes, when you apply a sunscreen with SPF of 50, you will be protected from the sun for 500 minutes or 8 hours before you get burnt. So when you are applying an SP of 50, it prevents you from ultraviolet damage and tanning and also hyperpigmentation. There are SPFs of different strengths available. So is it better to use a higher SPF of 100 over a SPF of 50? So in a tropical country like India, we can use an SPF between 30 to 50. The higher the SPF, still your pigment protection factor will be not more than 1%. So if an SPF 50 protect gives you 98% protection, an SPF 100 will give you only plus 2 more. Next, you should be looking for broad spectrum sunscreens. We have two types of ultraviolet rays, A and B. The ultraviolet B rays affect the uppermost layer of the skin and can cause skin burns and cancer. Whereas the ultraviolet A rays, they penetrate deeper into the skin and cause fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, age spots and sagging of the skin. So while we choose a sunscreen, we should look for broad spectrum which protects against both ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B. Nowadays, you also see sunscreens containing blue light filters, especially for people who are exposed to laptops, mobiles for long hours. They must use sunscreens which have blue light. The other lights that we need to get protected are infrared light and visible light. What are the different types of sunscreens? We have physical sunscreens and chemical sunscreens. Physical sunscreens, also known as mineral sunscreens, they physically absorb the UV rays and form a physical barrier. Physical sunscreens are sunscreens which physically absorb the UV rays and form a physical barrier. 
they contain titanium oxide and zinc oxide they start quick in action they are less irritable they leave a white cast uh, they last long and they are not suitable for acne prone skin chemical sunscreens the action starts only after 15 minutes they are lightweight they do not last long and they are highly irritable which is the best sunscreen for your melasma and hyperpigmentary conditions physical sunscreens are the best because they prevent both uva and uvb rays they last longer and they act as a physical barrier to your skin these days there are tinted sunscreens that are available in the market so i advise my melasma and hyperpigment patients to use tinted sunscreens because it also acts as a camouflage in hiding their pigmentation please choose for a broad spectrum sunscreen also an spf of 50 and above most importantly don't forget that all melasma and hyperpigment patients need to apply their sunscreen every 3 to 4 hours whether they are indoors or outdoors those who are lazy and who forget to reapply their sunscreens we have oral sunscreens that are available these days which can be taken daily so now that you have understood deeply that how sunscreen is the most important factor in your melasma and hyperpigmentation treatment so please don't forget to use your sunscreens on a daily basis it is the most cost effective and easiest diy treatment for your pigmentation